Nico, good to catch up with uh, Gary in the board meeting. Um, just your reflections on Tuesday night to start off. Yeah, um, a really good three points. Some positives to take. Um, not our best performance um, overall. I think obviously in any game where a man gets sent off so early, it changes the dynamic. You've, you've worked on certain things, you know what's kind of coming and that changes everything. Um, they have to sit back and try and keep things tight. That becomes very difficult for us because then you're trying to, you know, you watch Man City try and do it every week and, and they have troubles doing it. So breaking down a deep block, breaking down a determined, hard-working group who had probably been galvanised a little bit by the sending off and felt like they'd been hard done to and that brings a determination. So the, the key was to score. The key was to try and score as early as possible. So it was great timing to, to score from a set play for the first time in a while. It was a well-worked move. It had been worked on. Um, so I'm pleased for everybody involved in, uh, in that. And from there, I think there was a 15-minute spell where I'd say we were ruthless. We recognised the state of the game. We recognised that we didn't have to keep as many players behind the ball. And people stepped in and there were moments of bravery to try and break them down. They didn't all work. It didn't all come off. But that's kind of the point that we need to get to where we're willing to risk. We're willing to give the ball away and then quickly work to get it back. Um, because against those teams that that make it difficult. It's the hardest thing to do in football. So to score three goals so quickly pretty much ended the game. Um, my criticism, the, what we want more from the group is that in the second half, we want to be really ruthless. We want to continue to probe, continue to try and break them down, continue to be brave to get the ball 1v1, to get into the box, to get into the scoring zone. And I think there were, we were probably a little bit too passive um, and I understand, and I think we all do, that you're three nil up, they're sitting back, you can pass the ball wherever you want to a degree within the, the area that they've given you, but we want to go and get four and five and six, and that's what we've got to work towards. So a good lesson, a good, um, a, a good experience to come away with the points, and probably good that we can do that and know that there's a lot more to come. So hopefully the players can look back on that game, take it for what it is, and, and now move on to Burton. Uh, actually, it was, I think it was a good experience for this group as well. They've certainly not been in a position this season where we've gone up against 10 men so soon in the game. That can only be a positive. Um, to a degree, I think when you go against 10 men so early, like I said before, it, it does change everything. It, it, it makes things more difficult at times. Um, and so you have got to find a way to break that down and wear them out and, and do what you need to do. So it's not... a a regular occurrence. It's very rare that someone gets sent off so early. Um, but yeah, I, I think the lads did enough good stuff to, to deserve what they got and, and come out comfortable winners in the end. But um, there's still plenty of room for improvement. Great to see Will Ameson get his goal after a fantastic performance on Saturday as well. Yeah, and, and as I say, the, we've worked a lot on those set plays. Perks has, has particularly put a lot of work in, um, scouring the leagues, looking for different methods, different ways, different styles and um, you know, it, it'd be great if we could show you the video from, from Monday where we've, we've got it in training, where we've worked on the exact um, corner, uh, the delivery is the same, the run's the same, the timing's the same and, and we get a goal, the only difference being that, that Sweens runs in and taps it in from a yard and then runs off celebrating in Will's face. So I'm pleased that Will you know, did get the... Uh, the final touch and got his goal but I'm pleased for the group because that first goal was massive in the context of the game because it gave them a real problem then they couldn't sit back for the rest of the game at some point they had to come and we were particularly good at killing them off then I need your opinion on something here so Luke Harris said in his interview that uh, he was running to the gaffer and the gaffer ignored him but uh, Gary said that he ran to Perks because they had a training ground disagreement so which one is it? Oh it's the disagreement all day <laughs> yeah so he uh yeah, him and Perks had a little bit of a spat and, um, and, and they obviously made up and it was, it was lovely to see. It was a, a great embrace and uh, again, I'm, I'm really pleased for Luke. He deserved his goal. His performances have deserved you know, that kind of individual accomplishment, but he's a team player. I don't think he ever let his head drop that he wasn't scoring goals because he knew how important he is to us as a, as a team and a teammate. Perfect. Um, of course, the result means nothing if we don't follow up on Saturday. Um, you expecting a tough game from Burton? Yeah, they're going to be a, a tough nut to crack. They're, 
they're fighting for their life. They've got some experienced players. They've got a, a new manager in who's, who's picked up some good results. When they've got something to hang on to and when they're in the game, they're particularly difficult to play against. They don't give much away. They'll, they'll probably sit deep. They'll probably make it difficult for us and, and they'll look to catch us with, you know, they're good at set plays. They've got a long throw that, that can get into the box from, you know, pretty much anywhere in, in our half. So they'll have a, a game plan. They'll be determined. They'll be ready. And, and the task and the challenge, I suppose, for us is to be brave to meet that physical test that's going to come, but then be brave to get the ball down and, and not just keep it for the sake of keeping it. We, we have to be progressive, we have to play forward, we have to run forward, we have to be brave to give the ball away in, in dangerous areas where if it comes off we're getting a shot or a cross or an opportunity and know that when we do that, if we do give it away, we react quick and we go and get that ball back. And, um, and that's difficult because you know they are going to be hard-working, they are going to be resilient and it's going to be a test. It certainly seems over the last few weeks that the... The group have not been afraid to take more risks, and obviously, I think that comes from that ruthlessness that we've started to show. Yeah, I think we can do it more. I think we can be we can be braver. I think when you watch the best teams, you, you watch your Man Cities of the world who are faced with a similar task every week, where teams don't want to be open, they want to sit back, they want to stay tight. The De Bruyne, De Silva, Foden, these guys, they risk it. They risk it 1v1, they risk the pass in the final third, they have players running off them and running forward and being brave. But the big thing that stands out when I watch them is how fast they are to try and win it back if it doesn't come off. And that's the game, That's the. It, it's something that you, you'll get opportunities if you're quick enough to react and win it back because that's when the opposition drop their guard. And so it's... Um, it's great when you watch the top players do it and our guys have got to take that and take inspiration from it and, and learn themselves. Uh, Fitness-wise with the squad as you were? Yeah, all good as far as I'm aware right now. Which obviously, that is a positive. We, we've spoken before how, you know, previously in the season, Gary, the injury, cri not crisis, but the problems we had, it was, it was hard to pick a team and now obviously yourself and Gary are still scratching your heads about the number of players you've got available because they're working so hard. Yeah, it's... Iron sharpens iron. Yeah, I get that one in every time I can. Like the lads have to push each other. The lads have to make each other better. The, the best way of a player improving is to train with good players and try and force your way into the team, into the starters. Um, we're very, very clear that it's not just about 11. It's about the starters. It's about the finishers. It's about the squad. We, we're only as strong as our weakest link and everybody has to push each other. Um, but we are in a good position where good players are getting left out of the squad. And that's the worst thing in football for us to have to do. It's the worst thing for a player to have to deal with. But it's the best thing for a healthy environment and a team that's pushing to get better, to win games and to improve.